All right, the countdown is official. The big turkey day, it's next week. You've probably already planned it out when you're going to thaw the bird, when you're going to preheat the oven, how long it's all going to take to cook. But have you thought through the carving and the presentation? Because carving a turkey can be intimidating if you don't have a strategy. So joining me in the kitchen to help us sharpen our skills, Ooh, you like what I did I there, uh, is celebrity chef Mark Kalix. Thank you so much for coming back and visiting with us. And Thank you. Bringing a beautiful bird. Brought a bird. Okay, so <laughs> I think it's easy to get uh, intimidated by this. You start carving randomly. Right. So there's right. a strategy that professionals use when carving any bird, particularly a turkey. Okay. You'll notice I'm wearing rubber gloves, I use those kind of as, as pot holders so that okay. I don't burn myself. I got a nice freshly roasted bird here. Yeah, and it's a beauty. Thank you. It's roasted. It's rested for well over an hour. That's, well, that's the first tip. Yeah, that's what I wanted to ask mm -hmm. you. We don't want to be Chevy Chase and like cutting into a bird and the thing being all like dried out or yeah. cutting in maybe too early, too early and losing all the juiciness, that's right? That's right. So okay. um, at least an hour. So when you're planning your dinner, what time you want to eat? I want to eat at three. Your bird should be coming out at two. Okay. And then back up from there. Yeah. Okay. So don't carve the bird on the uh, the breast on the bone because you're carving with the grain, and we all know when you carve meat with the grain, it dries out. Ah. So to get good it, pro tip there. Yeah. So what okay. we're gonna do here? Start with the dark meat. Your hands are the best tool for the job. So okay. you can see here that my hands are kind of doing the majority of the work. I just want to go for the joints wherever possible. I see. Okay. Voila. And then you got your dark meat. Yep, yeah, my dark meat. I'll come back to that. So okay. for the breast, what I want to do is follow the breastbone. And I can just take a nice big chef knife. Don't use an electric knife, please. Well, and one good knife can get the job done, That's or right. do you need multiple options? I do everything with my handy chef knife. All right. Yeah. So and I always name my knives. This is Stabatha. <laughs> 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 She's been around for a long time, and it's just my trusty knife. A uh, electric knife is guaranteed to shake all the moisture out. So I I'm going to come back to this at midnight. This is what I eat for a snack. Okay. Okay. So now, without the carcass in the way, yep. we got some room to breathe. Nice. Okay. So look at that. Just when it's carved properly, pardon me, when it's cooked properly, things just come apart. Well, and it seems like, I, I obviously, like this is still mm -hmm. going to be very good and juicy, but yeah. there's a lot of juices that get everywhere. So it's mm -hmm. probably better to do this in the kitchen versus mm -hmm. trying to carve at the table. Yeah. Or do you, yeah, do you I have don't, a recommendation? I don't carve at the table because although it looks nostalgic, what you end up doing is making a mess or you're not getting the most out of your bird. So, yeah, if you really want that, present the turkey, oohs and ahs, and then get back in the kitchen. Okay. And you can see here with just a few moments. Yeah. Here's the dark meat. Beautiful. That's my favorite part. Oh, yeah. Okay. And the crunchy skin. Like, ooh, yeah, the crispy skin. <laughs> okay, so there we go. We got all the dark meat. And then you can see a big bird. It really breaks down to just a few pieces. Sure. And. Here's the breast. And that's so, how you're slicing. All right. Yeah, so now I'm going against the grain. So even if your turkey, let's say, is a little on the overcooked side, doesn't matter because this is still going to taste nice and tender. You can take the most beautifully roasted turkey in the world. If you carve it with the grain, it's guaranteed to be dry. Such a good tip. Yeah. Because well, a lot of folks probably either don't know that or just don't think of that. Right. And then what I like to do is then this this tray so easy to pass around. Right. It's much easier to handle. We are nearly done here. Beautiful. Look at this. Man, we're going to have you Thanksgiving at your house. <laughs> Come on over. We have less than 30 seconds. Okay. Do you have any tips for like that great gravy? Or oh, like, I'm no so glad you asked. <laughs> okay, so back to my roasting pan here. Yep. You'll note that I have all this great stuff in the here. The stuff on the inside. Yeah, and I roasted it over carrots, onions, and celery, or what's known as mirepoix. Mm -hmm. I make my gravy with this stuff right ah. here. I add some flour, yep. and I go ahead and cook that down for a little bit. Beautiful. Add some chicken stock, strain it, you have gravy. Chef, you're the best. Thank Thanks. you so much much for showing us how to do it the pro style. Now, Chef Mark Kalix is the celebrity chef for Appliance Factory Fine Lines. You could earn a free in-home cooking class or dinner party. So find out more information on his website at celebritychefmarkk.com. We'll be right back.